Welcome to Influence, the show about one of the university's founding colleges, the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. I'm your host, Emily Shaw. On today's episode, we'll be learning more about the Agricultural and Biological Engineering Department and the Agricultural Engineering Technology and Business major. Our first guest is Dr. Daniel Chesser, a research associate and instructor in the department. Welcome, Dr. Chesser. Thank you for having me, Emily. We're glad to have you and to hear more about the Department of Agricultural and Biological Engineering. Yeah, so the Agricultural and Biological Engineering Department is um, its sort of a broad department. Mm -hmm. we, we are a multidisciplinary uh, group. Uh, we have a lot of faculty uh, that focus on a lot of different research mm -hmm. areas. Uh, our students are different. Our uh, research interests are different. Our programs are a little mm -hmm. bit different. Uh, so we do fall under that big umbrella. Uh, we have a, uh, just to give you some examples of some of the research that we do, uh, we have a group that uh, does a lot of research in biomedical engineering, right. uh, orthopedic uh, tissue engineering, mm -hmm. uh, cardiovascular tissue engineering, biomechanics and things like that. Uh, so that just sort of encompasses part of our, our group mm -hmm. and our faculty and the research that they do. Uh, we have a lot of faculty on the environmental side, mm -hmm. uh, so those faculty would uh, focus on areas uh, of environmental management, uh, resource management, things like soil and water uh, quality, soil and water, uh, and cropping um, uh, modeling systems. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, on the environmental side, we, we definitely uh, are strong uh, in terms of the research there. Um, we have some of our, uh, some of our faculty are focused on uh, looking at on-farm uh, water storage systems for irrigation, uh, as well as uh, you know reducing that nutrient runoff downstream. So it just kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of the environmental side of our of our faculty and our research. Uh, also, we have a very strong uh, precision ag and machinery uh, equipment uh, type research group. Uh, we have a uh, a full scale. Uh, machine and fabrication uh, facility in our in our shop or in our building. A lot of people don't know about mm -hmm. that, but we're able to uh, develop some pretty cool stuff. Uh, we have some projects going with the uh, with the catfish industry uh, for the last several years, and we actually have a patent pending on some of the technology we've developed uh, there through the catfish industry and through mechanization. Uh, uh, it just kind of runs the gamut uh, in terms of mechanization. It could be you know, row crop systems, animal production systems, uh, automation and control sensors, uh, sensor packages and automation packages. So uh, we, we do some pretty cool stuff in terms of the research uh, in precision ag and precision ag equipment mm -hmm. and mechanization there. Uh, another uh, research group uh, that, we're, that we're very proud of is our poultry research group. Uh, you know, poultry is, is our leading ag commodity in Mississippi, so it's, uh, it's very big business for Mississippi. We have very good uh, collaborative relationships with our, our poultry science department here mm -hmm. on campus, as well as USDA poultry. Uh, and we look at a lot of the uh, poultry housing and design, uh, a lot of the in poultry environments uh, type things, and that, that, could, uh, that could be anything from heating to lighting to ventilation, uh, to fans, to animal behavior, bird behavior, and things like that. So uh, we're pretty proud of, uh, matter of fact, a lot of the research that I did in my PhD mm -hmm. was in poultry housing environments, insulation, energy optimizations for our producers. And, and we really try to focus on putting money back into our producers' pockets by saving them money on their energy expenses, which is a, a huge expense for our producers. Um, Let's see, we've also, um, we've also got some extension specialists, a uh, great extension group that are uh, focusing on, you know, extension programming like our, our um, uh, waste uh, pesticide disposal, uh, of course 4-H, FFA uh, type events. Uh, we have a, uh, through the poultry research and poultry extension, uh, we have a, what's called our meal trailer and that stands for the Mississippi Environments and Energy um, laboratory and uh, that that uh, laboratory is basically a poultry house on wheels uh, it's a 43 foot trailer that we pull around we can pull around to uh, career fairs and schools and really anywhere uh, basically just to educate the um, uh, the public on uh, poultry production systems we try to you know, even dispel dispel a lot of the myths mm -hmm. and misconceptions sure. uh, you know in poultry so it's a very good management tool you may see some of the pictures 
uh, of that tool, but that's a very good management tool, uh, educational tool that mm -hmm. we can take out and educate people in the poultry industry. So we're definitely a, a multifaceted department uh, that, you know, like I said, that covers a big umbrella of mm -hmm. agricultural and biological engineering. It sounds like y'all could provide support to all of our other units in the college. Yeah, we, we actually do uh, provide support to a lot of different units. You know, when people uh, need help with mechanization, with, with controls, instrumentation, and stuff like that, mm -hmm. we work a lot with our other groups, plant and soil sciences, uh, wildlife and fisheries, our MAFIS groups, uh, to, to, to do those sorts of things. Excellent. So the major that is housed within our college is the Agricultural Engineering Technology and Business major. Can you tell us a little bit about that in our time left? Yeah, so the AETB major, and I know that's a mouthful, that, ag, that stands for Ag Engineering Technology and Business. Um, it is a major that's been around for about 65 years now. Um, so we're, it's, a pretty, it's a fairly old and well-established mm -hmm. major. Uh, very well respected uh, in industry in Mississippi. Um, and we have several concentrations within that major. Uh, our first concentration is a natural resource environmental management. And this just kind of deals with uh, environmental uh, type issues for our students. Our precision ag concentration is a very big concentration. Uh, and that's established through our precision ag initiative. Um, uh, let's see, we also have a surveying and geomatics uh, concentration that trains our students to be licensed surveyors uh, and then we have uh, uh, enterprise management concentration as well that just kind of gives a broad approach to agribusiness management ag technologies uh, and things like that so we have uh, students working in uh, you know in industry for a lot of the major companies like John Deere uh, you know Case IH a lot of the crop consulting companies agrochemical companies uh, so, you know, we, we do have a very good uh, amount of industry support within the major. Uh, it's, it's a very good option for, uh, for students looking to, uh, you know, uh, enter into a field uh, of agri-technology, uh, agribusiness, and things like that. Excellent. Thank you for sharing with us today. When we return, we're, we'll hear from an undergraduate student in the major. The sense of place. We all have it, often grown from deep roots in small town communities. At Mississippi State University, our Carl Small Town Center is strengthening these ties. With nearly 40 years of making a difference, we're revitalizing communities into welcoming places to work, live, and congregate. By weaving together the best pieces of our past with modern technology and amenities, we're creating the hometowns of the future. Places where lifetime memories can be made, where you have all the things you need, along with all the things you want. Through partnerships with our communities, we're identifying improvement opportunities, recommending paths forward, and creating the plans for a better tomorrow. Welcome back to Influence. Our next guest is a junior undergraduate in the AETB major, Blade Hodges. Blade, thanks for being here today. I'm glad to be here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm from Greenville, Mississippi. I grew up in the Delta in the middle of mm -hmm. the heart of agriculture, I guess. And um, my dad works for Case IH uh, as a, at a Case IH dealership mm -hmm. as a parts manager. So I grew up in the business of selling tractors, repairing tractors, all that kind of good stuff. And so I've just been around it my whole life. Um, and then uh, whenever I graduated high school, I worked for uh, the Delta Research Extension Center mm -hmm. in Stoneville for that summer. And actually kind of where I got my uh, the desire to do AETB okay. and to come to Mississippi State. Excellent. So you had a step before you got to us. Tell us about your progression from high school to MSU. Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, after high school, I went to, I actually went to Global Youth Ministries um, Institute for Leadership for a year. Basically took a gap year mm -hmm. um, and learned about uh, youth ministry and leadership as a, in general and kind of learned life pretty much and how to deal with life and um, just kind of what my purpose was in life. And then I went to EMCC for two years and then 
transferred over into the AETB program here at Mississippi State. And during that time, I talked to Dr. Paz a lot, who is in the, he's a professor and advisor in AETB. And he um, kind of steered me in the right direction, so I didn't have any classes that I didn't need to take. And um, I know that kind of messes a lot of transfer students up is they take too many classes uh, that they don't necessarily need in the, into their major. And he helped me out a lot and um, really supported me in that. We like to reach across and help students before they get to us. How did you decide on which of the four concentrations and which one did you pick? <clears throat> Um, I picked natural resource environment management and basically my interest in irrigation and just water management as a whole um, influenced that decision. Mm -hmm. uh, as a lot of people know, the in the Delta especially, the aquifer is, the farmers are using um, more water than it can naturally recharge um, time-wise and so we're having to figure out more efficient ways of irrigation, which is uh, something I definitely want to research and study more about. And then also, um, I want to learn more about artificial recharge of the aquifer okay. also. Excellent. And you've gotten to work as a student research technician. What has that work entailed? Um, so basically, like I said, that was uh, at the Delta Research mm -hmm. Extension Center in Stoneville under Dr. Krutz who's now the president of the Mississippi Water Resources mm -hmm. Research Institute. And um, we just did a lot of uh, research on polypipe irrigation and uh, different, uh, we use water moisture sensors, soil moisture sensors. And then we also did um, a lot of, uh, we use what they call faucet. So just to punch different size holes in the polypipe mm -hmm. and um, to have a better um, field uniformity of the water going down the rows. And so what do you hope to do in the future with your AETB and REM degree? In the future, I hope to um, actually get my master's and possibly even PhD, and then um, I'm not really sure job-wise yet, mm -hmm. uh, kind of just open to what's out there. And um, for me, my whole life, I've just kind of gone by what the Lord has planned for me, and Whenever I get to that stage, he'll keep showing me uh, what it is. And I hope to eventually uh, one day also use my knowledge in agriculture mm -hmm. to go to different countries and share that uh, knowledge with them and to share the knowledge of the um, living water of Christ with them as well. I'm sure irrigation research is greatly needed in other places as well. Well, thank you, Blake. Thank you for joining us on Influence today, where we learned more about the Agricultural and Biological Engineering Department and the Agricultural Engineering Technology and Business major. See you next time on Influence.